What up, peeps? Welcome to the Kiss Capids podcast. I'm your host, John Telewa, a.k.a. The Case Bandit. And in this show, we explore the key elements that shape a fulfilling existence, from health and well-being to financial success, meaningful relationships, and the pursuit of happiness. We cover it all. Our guests include experts, professionals, and everyday individuals who have remarkable stories to tell. Tune in to learn practical tips, gain valuable insights, and discover strategies for personal growth and transformation. Whether you're seeking to improve your health, build your wealth, enhance relationships, or find lasting happiness, we got you covered. Welcome to today's episode. (laughs) So another amazing, amazing podcast episode with a very special special guest what do you think of the intro of the podcast it was mad you like it yeah nice so now you know we've and even that's the crazy thing like we've talked so much like behind the scenes and i was like yo we need to press record before we waste more content by the way right but first of all just introduce yourself Tell the people what you do, and then I think I'll just lead the conversation from there. I have so many questions, as you know. My name is Flames. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my name is Kiru. Mm-hmm. I am a cute female trying to survive in this wide world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am a law student. I model. I do styling. And you can see, I also write. Mm-hmm. I like writing a lot. So you can see all of that um, in my page. Mm. I've seen, uh, when you mentioned writing, I think I saw blog, right? Right. When was the last time you posted? Because I checked mm-hmm. before you lie. Yeah, because I checked. Accountability. Because mm-hmm, I yeah, checked. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Actually. Yeah. And yeah. you know why I, I went to the blog? Because I was like, okay, maybe if she's written something here, I can pick and add, like, you know, current yeah. questions or maybe something that she's now expressing. Then I just saw, like, 2023. I was like, dang it. You're one of those people, eh? I'm oh one of God. those people. Yeah, I'm one of those people. But not even just to start off the podcast, like I told you, the thing is, like, I have been following you, like, even, and I had to show you, like, on my Instagram. Like, yeah. you know, I've been following it from, like, 2017. Yeah. Because, like, you just always had, like, a unique way of how you're expressing yourself, like, in pictures. Very unique. Like, even just, like, your two concepts are just simple. Yeah. And just anybody who understands art, we can call it um, contemporary art. Right? I'll tell. Yes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, so if you go to her page, you'll know exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. But I've been following it from then. And I've seen like you just uh, go in different f- kind of phases of expressing yourself. Mm-hmm. Now to the last one that I saw, like it was you po- constantly posting videos and this like amazing project with, you know, amazing partner. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I was ready <laughs> with no comment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But baby steps, right? Let's get to the baby steps. So now... Because, like you said, now you're a law student, right? Right. Is that say, the, the first thing that you wanted to be like as a grown-up? Because, uh, no, as a kid, sorry. Because, like, mm. I hear a lot of people maybe it's pushed by either their parents because they kind of call law law something like you really have to be passionate about it because time-consuming, reading is crazy. Yeah. Kenya School of Law. Yeah. All those things. <clears throat> I do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, mm. I I didn't I had no idea what I wanted to do or to be mm. for some reason. Like everyone knew to, I'll be a lawyer, I'll be a doctor, but I never knew. So um, I was just a good dancer. Actually, that's how I entered into social media. And I was in Sakata, big up Sakata. Really? Yeah. With a girl group called Zawadi. What? Yeah. I can't even picture you dancing. <laughs> I'm you dance such anymore? a bad dance. Yeah, I mean, a b- good dancer. TikTok, do you post? I'm no. Like, that's not your thing. No. Now, you know, TikTok came when I was much older. Yeah. So I even joined it just recently. I'm trying to get the hang of it and find out how to post videos. 
Mm-hmm. But I love, love dancing. I could dance all night long, and I'm also really good at it. Okay. If you know, anyway, yeah. If we know, oh, no, no, like it's okay. the Ayoma. Do you know Ayoma? She's a dancer. Yes, 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 like, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we yeah. were in the like same group, yeah. kind of dance group. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let's see. Somebody wouldn't. Ah, what? Even now that I'm thinking about it, wait. But I can't picture how you were then. Did you have braids back then? I did. In the group, right? In yeah. the dance group. Depending, I had weaves and mm-hmm. braids. But different crazy hairstyles, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I went think. really crazy with my hair. Mm. Yeah. When okay. I had hair. Okay, and now that you've mentioned that, now that you've mentioned that, because <laughs> I'm not the one, and even like, you know, because we're talking behind the scenes about so many things, and you said like, okay, even this is something that I would want to talk about. So maybe we yeah. can even just start with that. Yeah. And then we'll just piggyback off that and go back to other conversations. Because like we said, there's so much to talk about. And I'm even scared that we might not even have like enough. Nini. But do you think we'll do it in one and a half hours? We can only hope. Okay, let's try. Let's try. So let's talk about like even just maybe like just hair. Because that's mm. something I didn't know. Yeah. I, I thought like that's your style. That just either short hair or yeah. just... I, I don't know how I can explain it, but I thought it was just like part of your fashion and evolve. For for a while it was. For a while yeah. it was. Mm-hmm. I cut my hair around 2017. Mm-hmm. And I, I was going for the Grace Jones kind of vibe. The two, not two puff, Grace Jones. Mm. And you can oh, see. Oh, like the Castellan TV. Yeah. In any, what is yeah. it called? Like, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so I had so much fun with my hair. Mm-hmm. from braiding to wigs to cutting my hair. But around 2022, 2022, yeah, mm-hmm. it started um, not growing in some places, and especially at the front. Mm. And before that time, I, I, I was out of the country, but before that, my mom had the same issue, ah. the same issue, mm-hmm. and her hairline was receding and receding. Mm. And we thought it was because she was constantly braiding her hair. You yeah. Know? So I was like, ah, mm, you know. But I didn't, uh, for, I mean, since I cut my hair, I was obviously not braiding it. Yeah. So it wasn't the reason for my, yeah. um, for my condition. So I was uh, fortunate enough to go see a doctor. And I was told that I was suffering from frontal lobal alopecia. Mm-hmm. And if you if you have hair, Q. Yeah, me I love my hair. My yeah. hair, I'm not shaving my hair. You can't imagine your life without hair. Yeah. And especially for a woman, it takes such a big hit on your self-esteem. Mm. And especially ikuapa mbele, you know, you can't hide it. Yeah. You know, I can't even explain. So for some for a period of time, I was quite down about it. I felt very ugly. There's some things I couldn't do, you know. So I thought, you know, I'll just take the plunge and shave it all. Mm. And uh, it worked. I looked like such a body, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And I even got a tattoo. I have a tattoo on my nape. What's a nape now? It's Using like words a, that I don't understand. <laughs> you know, my Engl- I'm making my English teacher proud. <laughs> <Aye, yeah, okay. laughs> but like up a numa, you know? Or like upper, somewhere. Right. Uh, yeah. like, okay, we'll say just just below the kisogo. That's uh, what we'll say. Nape, guys. We are <laughs> nape. culture. Okay, nape, nape. We'll go with nape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I look like such a body. Whoa, mm. you know? So you, you always prefer shaving it clean or now it's... Um, yeah, you know when you shave it clean, it's it's a blank canvas. Mm. But when you let the hair grow, it causes at the front it looks scattered. You know, and come on. Oh, like to to, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. like your hair is fading, mm. and then after a while, it starts leaving like really shiny patches. You know, same, shiny the, patches. You know, yeah, like. Mm. You or see like the how bad you can be. People, yes, yeah. yes. So there are no hair follicles. Oh, completely. Right. Oh. So okay, it starts okay. having that kashiny mm, look. Mm, mm. 
And so I was fortunate enough to date a West African. Hey, there you go, there you <laughs> go. Nika Peleko transplant, hey, big up, P. There you go, there you go. see this. There you go. Wait, he actually took you for a transplant? Yeah, you're such a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, we hear Nigerians are such nice guys. Uh, Nigerians, uh, mm. big up, man. So he was like, um, I know this is uh, making you feel very insecure. Mm. So let's fix it. Yeah. I was like, fine, yeah. <clears throat> so I, I went through a transplant. Uh-huh. Woo, yeah, it was... It wasn't that bad. Wait, so is it? Is they uh, did they fix like the patches and everything? Where the, you are? Yeah, so they just like uh, took the hair from somewhere here behind, mm. or cause implant apple, and then after a while you continue using minoxidil, and then the hair attaches itself to the to the roots and it starts to grow. Mm. And that was um, twenty. I think 20, I can't remember really. Mm-hmm. Like an, an year back, 2022, yeah. somewhere, the, the end of 2022. Yeah. And so after that, now you have to keep on uh, using minoxidil. So it's been a couple of years after, and my hair is not back to what it used to be, but it's better than before. So it actually works, the transplant thing and me. It won't give you like a full head of hair. But at still, at least it feels like, you know. Yeah. And yeah. you kind of feel more be- better compared to where, because you can tell yeah. like even in your head, like just charging, you can tell, hey, this is way much better than what I was experiencing. Exactly. But okay. you can't, you can't just walk around with it. It still looks weird. Mm. Like, prove it. Let's see. No, <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> I didn't like it. Hey, well, how does it feel? Yeah, like, no, let's see. Men are care memes. I swear. To konaki buri na ata una nywele. And the worst part is, by the way, yeah. guys, hey, mm-hmm. I have a forehead, the East African forehead. But yeah, but that's what I wanted to say. Because even like yeah. now, in general, people know East Africans for. Having like you know just that forehead, yeah. Like all, I think even Rihanna almost has like the same, yeah. Right. So, so you can so imagine it's excessive of that. Yeah, you can imagine now you have a forehead, yeah. And now your hair is receding, yeah. And also the eyebrows kind of like oh. go; they disappear after a while. Wait, you see? Yeah. So unaka kutoka hapa diapa. But then you're a canvas. No, but like even for you, I think that's the thing about you because you've always been that stylish person. Yeah. I think now you can still just rock proudly depending on how you just style your look. Because even without... Because even that's the thing. I didn't know like even now when you mentioned maybe eyebrows, the that's when now I notice see. like, oh, by the way, you don't have... Yeah. So you can't do this to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Eh? <laughs> 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 eh? No, that, that, that was mean. Hey, listen, my that apologies. Was listen, that I was just mean. No, I had to. I, I, I had I, to. I, I just saw it there. So I was just like, <laughs> yeah, if, I, if I almost did, because no way. No, you know, I'm just thinking about it because it's things. And yeah. that's why I'm always saying, like, at times, but I think it's always good to have or know somebody who's going through something and they are just like, you know, staying positive. They're talking yeah. about it. I think that's a good thing because most of the time you also have to understand, like there you say, it's something that can actually affect like your self-esteem. Truly. But yeah. somebody like me, I'm just assuming like if this person is my friend, I would, I would, would I'll still crack those jokes regardless, yeah. but not in a mean way. Because, you know, it has to be, so. I relax, relax. First of all, relax, relax. I'm just saying. I would mm-hmm. want to be able to talk about because also like now I'm learning because you see the yeah. only time I heard about first time hearing about al- is it alopecia? Yeah, that is that's the correct pronunciation. Yeah, it's when Will Smith slapped. Right. Him. That's the first time, and I was the, like, so this is an actual wife. thing. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I didn't know that. I just thought that's Jada Pinkett's nini. Yeah, and, and then now like, here, yeah, I do know someone who's actually going through that. It was revolutionary for for me to see 
Yeah. Like Jada Pinkett come out about it. Mm. Because for a really long time I thought it was just me and my mom. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't know it, it it happened to so many African women actually. So is it like a genetic thing? I think so. I Probably, think so. Probably, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's like your body starts fighting the follicles, the hair follicles. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, does it affect you in any other way apart from just hair loss? No, it's just hair. I have hair in all other places mm. apart from where I really need it. <laughs> You know, so we do this. You have hair. Yeah, hey, that's even unfair. for that's a really a long weird. time. Yeah, I grew out my armpit hairs. I was in the era where I'm like being revolutionary. Okay. I still am, and the, I had like <laughs> a, an armpit full of hair. You know, that <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling John about these jokes that I hear on social media about your hairline. Helen yako may recede. Use minoxidil. Mm. Mm. Please stop, guys. Please yeah. quit it. And that's something that, you, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you see, even at times we see such things on Twitter, but now you don't. Because, like, honestly speaking, for me, yeah. I don't think I've ever in life come across or even mm. know someone who has it. Yeah. And that's crazy to me because I'm like, okay, come like someone that I was following on social media. Me, I'm thinking maybe that's just how yeah, she is, uh, her yeah. style, or any. But that's something she's actually going through. And yeah. actually having to overcome when they're walking out of the house every single day. Because I didn't tell you, like, uh, when yeah. is today? Thursday. Today's Thursday. On Tuesday at work, uh-huh. <coughs> I watched a TikTok about this girl who was showing how to take care of your wigs. Now I cover my hair with, like, bandanas, mm. kofias, and um, hair wigs. Uh-huh. So I'll come on you how to wash your hair and revamp it. I washed that wig. Uh-huh. Let me tell you mine now. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. I broke that wig. Uh-huh. The girl is no. When you wash, I thought it was human hair. It was not. Uh-huh. It was synthetic hair. So, ukeka ndaniya maji, I don't know, ikashikana, it became hard. <laughs> so, I couldn't comb it out. I couldn't fix it. And I had work the following day. You ruined day. it. By, oh, yeah. and you're supposed to go to work. Yeah, but then I just sat down and cried. <laughs> and I was like, what am I going to do? My one and only... But hey, guys, please, if you... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Send me wigs and but prayers. You, but you can actually do... Okay, now, even that I'm thinking about it, like, now, even with... And you're a very, very stylish person. Yeah. I mean, I think you can work with, like, even just, like, uh, hair... Is it brands or products? If that's something that you can actually do. Right. Yeah. And then it just makes sense because for you, it's not just now even styling. It covers so many other aspects of even bringing out your personality. And I'm sure you'll be shocked about how many other people probably are going through what you're going through. And that's true as yeah. well. Hair yeah, wigs company, please sponsor me. Please do it. Do yeah. it. So now let's get back to like, you know, just... Uh, uh, let's say academics yeah, and even like now just like the part of law school because I wanted to touch on that. I know so many people who like get into law yeah. but when they get to the KSL part, most of them like just like that's where they quit Yeah, or either once they start, they just like, you know what, I don't think this is, this is for me. Well, so after, the only thing by there I knew that I could do yeah. was just dance. Mm-hmm. Even this like style and writing came yeah. after, mm-hmm. you know. So I was always a good dancer since I was young. I, even my nickname was Chini Kwachini. Mm. I used to, what? Kindergarten, oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that's the only thing I knew. And um, I remember there was a time the aptitude test came up. Uh-huh. I don't know if you remember, there was a craze about that. Yeah. And my dad made me do it, and it 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 um it came as uh, you're going to be an animator. I had I didn't even know what like, that what? was. Animator, yeah. huh? So I, I started calling myself an animator, uh-huh. but really up until um you not uni high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Okay. So after after high school, I I thought mm, I'll do mass com, but my my dad was, uh, um, and my parents were like, Apana, just do law. And at that time, I, I can't really recall um, 
what was going on, but there was this Kamba female lawyer who was making Moves. headlines. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ki- something. And later on, her, her degree was, was, was realized to be obtained fraudulently. What? Yeah. Who is this? Someone, someone remind us, K- Kathy, someone. Oh, no, no, I she remember. She had like a, a forehead and she was a camp and she was young. I've forgotten the name, I've forgotten the name. Because like even when this other guy, this other Brian, the TikTok Ooh. lawyer, after Anini, now people started saying, but see, even Nani did it and she was doing like her work, Nini. Yeah, and she was, she's a daughter of a politician. I can't oh. really remember her name. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So if you know who we're talking about, please just you know yeah. post on the comments or something. Mm-hmm. So it was around that time, and so my parents were like, "Go to law school." And granted, I wasn't I wasn't the brightest star. Mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. so I didn't like pass. I got like a a good uh, a, a good grade. Uh, yeah, <laughs> an average grade. Let's go with average. Yeah. Eh? Uh-huh. So I obviously good. Yeah, I obviously couldn't enroll in a public uni, uh-huh. so I went to Quare. Okay. So I went to Quare, and then Quare was where I was uh, now finding myself, and style came in. And like the fourth year of Quare, I was so done with law. I was like, this is in Nini, family law, surgery, bankruptcy. I was so uh-huh. done, for uh-huh. sure. So after I graduated, which, which, eh, <laughs> I was running after my my missing marks like this. Yeah. So after I did it, I refused to go to Kenya School of Law. I was like, the utter simtalipa na sita soma. Oh, you just didn't want to go. Yeah, on I was like, I had heard the horror stories of Kenya School of Law. Yeah. I was like, mm, mm. I don't want no to. Way. I don't want to go through this. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I did like an internship for one year and then went to do my masters. Yeah. Then after my masters, I where was did like, you do your masters? I did my masters in Cyprus. What the hell is Cyprus? Guinea American. Uh, and some of no, us <laughs> don't even know. I'm Jatoka so, Kenya. Imagine, imagine. Ah, ah. So Cyprus is in the states or Europe? No, it's in uh, Europe. Europe. And it's not even at the cusp. Mm-hmm. Cyprus is divided into two: the the European side, which is the south side, and the north side. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. me and my small money we could only afford the north. Hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, hey, so, Europe, everything is expensive. It kind of gets expensive. True. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. So it's called the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Okay. See, it's like a, under Turkey, and it's not even recognized. Mm. But it's such a cool place. It was chill. The yeah. weather was not too harsh at Canada Evo. Yeah. Yeah, it was just Somewhere vibes. where you can just en- actually cope with without yeah. extremes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but lots of inflation, uh, lots of um, international students, especially West African. Oh, is that where you guys. met the Nigerian boyfriend? Right. Hey. Wait, so, wait, so, oh, wait, you guys, did you do the transplant in Turkey? I did it in the TRNC. They are like the hell is TRNC Nikama, now? You're the, this Why it's other close place to? Now. Yeah, it's like um, mm-hmm. it's like if Kenya adopts a country. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So it's like a subsidiary of mm. Turkey. It's okay. under Turkey, oh, okay. and it's not even recognized. Ah, okay, get yeah. you. But it's almost By like a few countries. So, but I think that's a very popular. What would I say? Like that's just something they've specialized in. That whole area from Turkey, because yeah. you've seen those memes of even people like guys yeah. who go to Turkey and <laughs> Turkish Airlines. You just those people. You just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So they basically just steal from each other mm, and they relate. You. So essentially, it's it's like a, a small Turkey. It's a really small okay. island. Mm. So that's why I did the transplant. Okay. And, yeah. And if, okay. So and even the study. How how long was the masters? Did it for? Um, it was for like two and a half, but then I stayed there for four years. But mm. I did a masters in international relations. What? Yeah, I was okay, just, just like. But you know that's the craziest part because like <laughs> even for me, I'm looking like looking at your Instagram. I did not know what the hell it is exactly. <laughs> like. Kumbi, you are studying from one thing to the other because, like, you never posted anything to do with school yeah. or 
even what you studied, those are things that you never shared. So like for me, it was just like, yeah. you know, she's just a contemporary model and she posts probably one after every, one picture after every two months. Hey. So nothing crazy. <laughs> If yeah. that's if that was how I was surviving, you get to fuck it. Okay, now when you're in this country, and you know, I just want to still pick on questions like on how, like even when you're talking about surviving. Yeah. When you're in such countries, how do you make like extra pocket money? Because of course you can be supported here and there. Yeah. But is it something that you went out of your way to try and do like some certain gigs or you need to make extra cash? Because like we say, like everything there is extra, it costs extra money. But yeah. if you do want your two fashionable clothes, your two nannies, you have to do other, to maybe things, maybe to nanny money. Actually, you know, that's probably, mm-hmm. when I, 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 I moved, I stopped posting. And I even like deactivated my Instagram. Because yeah. I wasn't bowling like that. Kila mm. Kitu now was more expensive. And now you have to find ways to survive. Yep. Context, you mm. now realize there's racism. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I was telling people here at here, at here hey, me, I don't like Kenya. You wait. Yeah. Wait till you set your foot where somebody <laughs> is looking at you and you're like, okay, what have I done? Yeah. It's just like, what are you doing here? I think the problem with Kenya is that mm. yani, you don't have... You don't get those opportunities you want. Yeah, but when you true. go abroad, the opportunities are just close to you. As mm. yeah, yeah. Actually, if you're a hard worker, yeah. kind, I think, opportunity, it's, it's almost impossible to not get opportunities. Because yeah. as a hard worker, you'll always kind of be rewarded there, which is opposed to Kenya. Yeah. No matter how hard you work, how many people with degrees, how many wake, people wake up every day in the yeah. morning, but they're still frustrated. No they're one not cares. Getting, you need cares. to know someone yep. Yep. to get what you need. Oh, okay, so now when you mentioned racism, what kind of experiences were bad for you? Mm-hmm. Well, of course, because now that's when you get a bit homesick. And like yeah. you said, most people see people in... And I'm always saying, like, you've ever noticed once people go to Europe, yeah, in States, they don't post pictures as much as they used to in Kenya. Because now life there starts, life starts lifing. Let's yeah. just put it that way. Yeah. It's not like a bed of roses until now you figure out something out. Yeah. But even there, before you figure something out, it's a whole new different playground. Yeah. And so what kind of experiences like were bad for you? I mean, you couldn't just get jobs, like the good jobs that pay you. Uh-huh. And um, the laws there are also very unregulated for, for uh-huh. international students, you know. So unafanya kazi, the, the jobs you get ni waitressing, kosha uh-huh. viombo, yep. cleaning, and then you get like 70 bob a day, you uh-huh. know, kind of things. Uh-huh. What do you mean by seven, <laughs> 70 what? 70 euros? No, you know, they use lira. Oh, they use lira. Yeah, there. so you get like a hundred. Ah, okay, 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 yeah. okay. Uh-huh. Which is equivalent to how much money in Kenyan money? Um, if you can put it to context, cause so that people can understand. When when I first got into into the country, it was like, um, it was like um, one Kenya shilling was equals to five lira. Uh-huh. But then... Hey, and you know, there was a time where the Turkish economy had a deep plunge. Yeah. So the inflation was crazy. Mm, you just mm. sleep, umeamka, 10 bob. Ume, <laughs> lalo, ume, 11. You know, kila siku ina increase. Yeah, yeah. So now, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Now, hey. But was it, it was money that, I'm, I'm thinking maybe in context of, like, may, let's say equivalent to Kenyan money. It was money enough for you to buy food, you can shop for clothes, I'm a, it was just to survive. To su- for sure, I I'm couldn't to- pay rent mm. and um, electric. Like, oh, I used to pay bills and food and mm. like thrift. But kind of like enough for you to go back to work, Kesho. Okay, sure. We can yeah, just say that, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So not at a yeah. lot of nini. But, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I used to work in this place. Hey, yeah. you have no idea. Tell me. Like there, it was... A dilapidated place mm-hmm. where they very, very old. Mm-hmm. And um, they were just like old men who came to play poker. Mm-hmm. 
So my work was to make them coffee, kuesabu, ku keep track of the 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 to, what the, 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 chips. The, yes, yeah, yeah, to uh-huh. give them chips, to collect chips, uh-huh. to empty their ashes because they smoke a lot to yeah. go. Mm. Uh, that job. That job, but <laughs> and, and that's why I think I'm always saying that I think like just so many other like young girls need to understand like yo know, just ask ask people who've gone yeah. out there don't just start saying you have this fantasy that you've painted in your head like if you land in Europe things yeah. are going to be like this and this because I I'm like I was telling you like when I did the euro trip I was just trying to wonder because there's some shops I remember was just like when I go in I'm like where are the black people by the corner where are they because I know immigrants yeah. are here But now once you start peeping like uko back door no, back door no, 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 people are talking shelves <laughs> yeah. like you said qua like you know kitchen you'll see uko behind you like ah okay and then you're like that's the most that they can yeah. do because i think for those countries what they normally do maybe i'm wrong they're like our people fast to get the opportunities yeah. anybody else can get but yeah. after our people at the forefront and here in kenya it's the opposite exactly opposite it's the opposite mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Imagine and yeah. and context. Actually, my mm, I can say my background. We are not. We are doing like relatively well. Yeah. So my parents could send me something to um, to pay my rent yeah. to to buy one thing or the other. But there were lots and lots of international students, yeah. and I'm speaking in the context of females that had to do the most. Mm. You know. You know what I mean guys like No, we don't. Uh, like they had to resort to things like prostitution. Mm. Um or just you know anything goes because you need money. Anything to make that extra yeah. money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I um it was so the island was like a small sin city. Mm-hmm. Like there now the Nigerian guys with the gold and the nice cars mm. and you know so as a as a female unajia touch it become a trick you're like <laughs> my man you know yeah 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 you are mm-hmm. touched because they, oh you already know this guys will give you everything you need they'll yeah. pay for you they'll get you the good phones mm. you'll survive but then in the process you also end up like tolerating so much shit for sure mm. yeah And so sometimes I you know you're see, zoning out first of all because yeah. I'm talking of personal experience. No, for mm-hmm. sure no. Or things that you've seen maybe. Yeah, but I've seen mm-hmm. I, I even used to work for like this international organization they are called Voice Cyprus which helped to like um help international students. Sometimes they had students sleeping outside. Come mm. on China, that's not outside good. like out how outside? Like umetupwa you can't pay the rent oh you so are, i know yeah, you now you're there outside with your two things waiting for maybe classes but still you have yeah. you're literally you in you're school homeless. but homeless yeah you're you're in school but you're yep. homeless i'm always talking about those things by the sorry yeah. to interrupt you huh yeah and um so there was lots of that but to unaka to hapo nje you're hoping you're praying and then you're Your people don't understand. They don't. Where so you are abroad, mbona una pesa? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we we had like una work so much and actually sometimes I used to walk in the street and if you go see my page and see my style, later to tuanze tu hapo. Just I like like um actually now I'm just like channeling my inner femininity. Yeah. But I like big things and baggy <laughs> things. Like, hmm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thought of like yeah, is just something like Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, unatembea kwa street then a car just stops you and they ask you sex, money. How much? How yeah, much? Sex, money. You know such a- kind of things. And is it something that they've kind of like identify where they I think they identify uh like an international student. I hear like once especially if they see like black girls they just yeah. assume like you're a prostitute For immediately. Sure. and they'll just now actually ask like how much because they know all black girls yeah. that's what they do yeah you're black yep tutakuuliza mm-hmm. without yeah. hesitation like yeah. the first thing they ask like how much and provoked and provoked so sometimes actually nimeamka tu i'm going to the market an <laughs> M- old minding man. your own business yeah 
Yeah, so mm-hmm. some people really had to do what they had to. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you want, like, unafikiria, so I'll go back home and do what? Yep, yep. Yeah, so those those are the challenges there. Una survive mm-hmm. too, you try to know people. Yeah. But would you say, like, just it's, uh, okay, so if let's say you're going there to study, um, relatively, the only way you can say, like, you can just be at peace studying is, like, if your family is doing really, really good. Yeah, I don't recommend going there. Because even middle class, it's always okay, because you can always, and I'm always talking about this as well, like, there's nothing wrong with middle class, but once you are out there, yeah. you have to understand now you're operating as an adult, because like we said, okay, parents can foot bills for this and that, yeah. but you can't call them and say, like, I've seen a Tizara has a sale. Yeah. Can you, you can't do that. Yeah. So for you, you'll be like, okay, so what can I do? get this nini maybe you have yeah. a small medical emergency yeah and then you're looking at it it's like okay yes they can send me money but you know i also have to be a responsible adult and figure out how i can do this on my own because yeah. now you have friends here who are hustling some are doing this and that you don't want to be that friends like yeah I, mom, and dad. it's inevitable like as long as you live you need things you and the needs yeah. keep increasing honestly yeah. speaking right yeah so it's not just the budget like how you used to be like in primary you say like at am being given pocket money for two yeah. three how much you go buy to mandazis and then you're back in school your home you're good no things just keep changing and that's why i think it's so important for anyone who's always like traveling i think uh ask 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 them before you even go somewhere it's like yeah. hey by the how's the experience there because yeah. at times i'm always seeing people say i'm so excited going somewhere i'm so excited yeah and then i'm like yo i don't think especially if like you know yeah. someone who's like i know you can't even take care of yourself how are you supposed to survive yeah. there it will be just sex traffic first of all once you right. just land like this right sex traffic there's also a lot of that actually yep so there are nuances you have to keep abreast of but mm-hmm. if it's possible if you get the chance to go now it's a good chance such as the agents you are not paying agents it's daily yeah uh-huh. at the middle east mm. just if you are able i recommend really going out it's a good experience yeah you learn things you see the world in a different perspective and kidogo your mind expands True. like for sure if i hadn't gone there's some things i wouldn't have known or seen like for what, sure like what just like th- this how has your mind changed and maybe what you'd say you've learned just to be like for i i know there's something better mm. so, like we could be better as a country for example yeah ju come uko i use sometimes i couldn't sleep na mka like 3 a.m. with my diary na tembea hadi kwa scene ko Tia diary. It's oh, you okay. just stroll and really. <laughs> eh, it was vibes. Yeah. You can walk anytime. Mm. You go to Latembea na Simu. If you leave something somewhere, they'll you always steal. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they keep it very clean. Mm. And that country cares about its people. Woo! Yep. Yep. Hey. Mm-hmm. Ati ati there's something that happened has happened in this area. Quick work. You see, you saw the story of the fire that happened in Embakasi. Yeah. It, they are being the, given ten thousand, ama. It was five <laughs> thousand. It was five thousand. I mean, like Paka was just like, because you know, like in any other country, you know that kind of lawsuit. Kwanza you're set for life. Yeah. Because they'll pay at least everyone like at least close to a million dollars. For sure. Yeah, like those some countries don't even play at all, and that company probably is going to file bankruptcy immediately. Because yeah. you'll pay probably half, and the government will chip in with the rest. Yeah. But people will be compensated. Those ones of like, yo, even if it's your finger has been affected, and this yeah. is what used to make you actually like earn money, whether it's typing or whatever. Yeah. Compensate that guy till he dies. I think a lawsuit should be. But should now be in Kenya. Uh, but they, that's that that bothers me so much. And in Kenya, you just live like a kamnyama. Yeah. <laughs> Ukai, ukufe, u- <laughs> Especially no for someone cares. who studied law, I think yeah. now when you look there, you're saying like, you see how other countries are operating, and yeah. then you come to Kenya, and then you're like, what? Imagine the laws there, mm. they just don't cover us. 
Wewe yeah. as an international going there. Mm-hmm. Wewe wako, mm, we will fix you. Mm-hmm. We, you have to lobby. Mm-hmm. Uku, even <laughs> those citizens, you as a citizen. Mm. <laughs> It's a whole different story, right? Yeah. A whole different story. Yeah. But so now also like another question and of course this one we can just talk about it however you want it. Okay. But I have to ask, right? Because mm-hmm. like I told you like uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Are you laughing? No, 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 relax. I, I but I have to just a bit though, just Don't a bit. Burn. Just a bit, right? Okay. Cuz like I told you like I had noticed like you the kind of person who I just remember what like you even said like you deactivated and you're not posting as much, yeah. but I remember you just used to be that person who's like kind of mysterious. Yeah. Because like I told you, I didn't even know like you're studying law. Because yeah. for me, I was just like, she's just a model and that's it. Yeah. You could doing masters, you're doing all these amazing things. And then yeah. I also like saw a slight switch. Yeah. I know whether it's just like, you know, we call it maybe it's love. Being in love sometimes can make you do like crazy, crazy things. But I saw a shift of like, Paka was like, okay, you know how, what's the, this guy's name? The Kenyan actor. Who was in Hollywood or was he in India the guy from Machachari okay yeah i know you're speaking i i, I, I he kind of get what to, yeah what's his name i like him so much exactly so i was like i'm i'm getting that vibe from you because you know you were almost like uh what do you call them ah what's the perfect name give me those english names that you know uh, Uh, for the same. Uh, give me, give me, help me out, help me out with that. Uh, what? It seemed like. Uh, how would you describe that guy for Machachari, and what he was doing? Oh, spiritual kind of. Yeah. Um, like you, bo- not boho, but like spiritual. In a spiritual kind yeah. of place where, it, like, you're meditating, yeah. doing yoga, yeah. and you are with this white guy, right? Yeah. And I was like, I don't know what exactly is going on, but for me, as an outsider, I was like, hey, I, I mean, blink twice if you need. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, those ones of like, yo, I mean, because uh, at times for some people, at times when I look at such things, I'm always trying to think like, has she been brainwashed? Right. That she's in that space because I can't picture her. Yeah. Being like that from right. what I remember when she was in Kenya. And first of all I was like those ones of like I didn't even know she's not in the country first of all I thought she's in the country so now she's in this whole different place Yeah but I can't remember what the conversation was all about but used to post a few videos here and there and it was about you help me out with this story you can't just be oh. quiet and you already know what you already now. know what I'm talking about yeah. so um that that's oh, okay mm. hold on before you start let me okay. give you a nice effect here let's go to this dream world The year is 2020. <laughs> tell us, tell us. Now I just want um, to know where you are and how you ended up there and even how you got out of that. Yeah. Um just to give context after also after I left the country, I got into myself some more. Like now my parents are not there, my friends are not there, so I started discovering things on my own and I like went through this shift so that's me actually that's just me i'm very spiritual mm. i do yoga every day i like meditating i like zodiac signs and reading what the stars are trying to tell me nico mm. the moon is out i'm doing rituals mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm unaniona <laughs> too <laughs> just ask my friends <laughs> you know mm-hmm. trippy kind of stuff mm-hmm. So yeah that's just me first of all yeah. and so then i met um this friend who's uh, who was also like me okay but for sure i needed help namku ni saidia i was looking i was me. checking and i was like yo is because i remember yeah it crossed my mind and i was like should i ask like is everything okay <laughs> I wanted to, but how I, was I looking? No, I, you, I'm saying to me as an outsider. Oh, it seems I'm like you it seemed off and yeah. it seemed like you're either in a very dark confused place. I probably 
because there was no other way I could explain it because I was just like this is not you I've never seen you done this doing this before yeah you could be posting anything else apart yeah. from that um, and here you are you you with the you say the friend yeah. right yeah for sure I take responsibility because some of that was me actually mm. yeah some of that was me I'm some of that so he Say needed help not you needed help no he no, needed like, help from um, you you know you always attract people who you have something similar Kinda, yeah, with yeah, yeah. yeah so that similar thing that was that was part of my contribution you know mm-hmm. so um yeah and guys but, but what was it though It was cuz cuz like I said cuz like I said it was there so I can't just pretend like I didn't see it just I, have you ever have you ever interacted with a narcissist ah, I'm trying to think No 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 cuz here's the thing I'm always trying to make sure yeah somebody doesn't push me to right. a, a place where I can forget myself. So I always like eject before anything gets to me. So I can I maybe oh, I have yeah. but first even if you try and manipulate me I'm, I'm always out always immediately. I wasn't Kinda. manipulated or anything. Okay. I just or, loved or, or, or describe that, that narcissism part then. That was me. Like uh, So who was a I narcissist? Also don't want yeah, to you like, you or him? Like burn it I'm, I'm I'm not So it's, I don't know but they I'm self Um see in it or ile una jipea like you you a- decide self accountability no, no that no. one you self prescribe something for yourself you're like I'm ADHD and you don't even know if yeah. you're not but uh, um you just look at things and you're like um oh, so anyway i was um I, i i liked that part of my life that's me for sure mm. That's just at a, you saw that but even behind the camera that's me I'm, uh, I'm um an activist for sure I was even in that um femicide thing it's that Oh you went for the nini Yeah so. even for LGBTQ rights it's mm. just that sometimes I don't post Yeah but you, you know you know you show what what you show just a part of your life on yeah. social media but um for sure as humans we are layered Mm. Like for example I dance I write I'm spiritual I I'm do I'm actually this, glad I, I invited you because like yeah. you see like that's you can't tell anything if you look at her profile you can't tell <laughs> anything you can't even know if <laughs> listen <laughs> like there's nothing for somebody yeah. to actually unpack to say like she does this on in it's like like yeah. I said just two random concepts for contemporary photography and concepts yeah. and then that's it I'm very passionate about especially women's rights mm-hmm. and even in when I was telling you abroad I, I was in this organization that was fighting for international students okay. so that's me Nico why are you like racist why are you mean to people yeah so I'm those people I like fighting and championing for things that I think ah uh-uh, no mm-hmm. things need to be better okay so yeah there's nothing much to say about that so after a while Um I was in a relationship obviously then I was not I with, I'm not anymore with that friend Yeah I'm very single Why, why, why are you calling him a friend I'm then? very single why? please DM me <laughs> <laughs> Girls and boys they do not discriminate So do we say Oh okay hold on we'll get to that too ah. Hey hey listen 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 Jose How would that just cross my mind How can that just cross <laughs> At I am I'm, I'm then I'm just going on with the conversation I'm like hey wait 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 hold on hold on hold on yeah. But I'm just trying to think like this why is everyone bisexual right now Um I no, think everyone fa- should in, be In fact uh, no, no, no. Co- where you're not hey, hey, no, uh, no. you're John No listen uh, listen you should you should listen. consider <laughs> No no, no. <laughs> no listen but I I do love and respect whatever everybody has their choices but i yeah. i don't think that's my cup of tea i think i love um, women too much though yeah. so you understand because you love women too i love women a lot can you stay without them no exactly sure. so why why the hell would i leave them you can stay with them and ah, no 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 <laughs> you and your suggestions ah. i mean ah. come on jajaribu you can't ah. eat it ah. <laughs> 
Yeah. And I've heard that many. <laughs> Who else said that by the way? Well, was it and in a then, movie or something? Yeah. But no, it's just but I've even heard like people like just on the podcast. Like I've heard two podcast guests. Yeah. Who've actually come out on the podcast. And then yeah. one I was just telling her like you cuz her now she's like even the look how she what do you call it um the ones who dress like guys yeah. it's not tomboy but you know what I'm talking about right and then I'm I was asking her like you mean to tell me your mom doesn't know cuz me looking at you that's the first question I had yes. to ask but then that was me for a really long time wait really yeah I am such a tomboy for sure and I think because of Melona of Lana and mm. I don't know that style kind of appealed to me so yeah. that's why I even made a comment of me trying like lately just embracing my femininity mm. and wearing like cute things yeah but for a really long time I, I was very um a, a, such a tomboy but I think the craze about being bisexual is that now it it has become like cool it's a trend right yeah, yes right. It's true. yeah Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like something like Fact. you know how like a, f- a fashion trend. Yeah. Cuz I'm like there's no way all the girls are just like buy right now. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like and you see even the way you threw that in the podcast. Yeah. The previous like second last guest we were just talking the same way and then she said by the and the and she said something like hey and just so you know I'm buy as well. So the same way reaction me yeah. I just keep talking talking. I'm like wait 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 wait. <laughs> wait, you said what? But you and, know what it is? Yeah. Um there's kind of a way we are so like women we are socialized to be together. I think that's, that's why that's there's a, like for many women it's like mm, and it's, it's accepted. No deal, yeah, and it's of. accepted and especially by the men's because like how? Oh. Like when uh, they Oh you know that you know our fantasy you know our fantasy yeah. already comes in like yeah so uh, they they allow it also yeah. mm-hmm. you know if if the patriarchy allows something in enda in no, enda that's true that's it's true. true yeah so also as a as a as a young woman speaking from the perspective of a kenyan yeah you are kuna venye uko socialized to panda to men mm-hmm. like Unacheka hivyo sasa ni monome mgani atakutaka you know Unachekaje tu hivi hivi Eh unakaaje hivyo hivyo Umeka hivi kwanza Yeah you are your legs to panda True to panda mm-hmm. and then like your your existence is it's a, is attached to men mm. Usiva hivyo na kuna wanaume usifanye hivyo mm. no you mm. know mm-hmm. so they like una revolve around so sometimes for those people who it's not a trend yeah. you might be le- you might identify as queer mm-hmm. but you don't know or you can't detach yourself from like the the pandarism towards men so okay so like where do you fall though may I just think especially girls who are like let's say bye mm-hmm. i think they're just greedy oh. <laughs> No not that it's a bad thing no, that is no ski ski of course you just want to enjoy both yani like those ones like ah you can wake up today I and mean, say like me nimechoka na made okay, listen, and then you do with guys if you yeah. wanted you cool kuna mtu amekukataza hakuna mtu amekukataza kuna mtu amemkataza kuna mtu anikataza baje just if you want <laughs> I just wake up and See, do we will, by the way i'm just saying like listen but also like you've said i think and nowadays i i don't even think it's a big deal anymore i think even like let's say for like even if let's say a girl told like the mom yeah she's bisexual i think like the parent will just be like ah but now if a guy mentioned that then it would be like right. just a big deal not even just to the parents society neighbors yeah. and everyone gangster and, points zinashuka yeah zinashuka like almost immediately but if you think about it like even like now in Kenya like yeah it's just like a huge like just gay community and yeah. but we hear that a huge percentage of like just men are just on the down low for sure like a lot because yeah. Kwani who who's hanging out with the gay guys then? Right. Yeah, we can't just say it's just because we see it's a few of them but it's like Kwani who's entertaining, who are they going yeah. on dates with, who yeah. are they linking up with? It's, it's guys. Almost it's the it's same guys. thing with prostitution. Kwani yeah. they are sleeping with themselves. Yeah, it's that thing of like ati ati Kenya by the way, 
Kwani who do you think these girls are sleeping with? Yeah. It's your dads, yeah. uncles, your every other day person and it's just one of those things Pierre we can't just like kwanza prostitution let, let, let it just be that's a conversation that we just don't even anyone yeah. who's against like girls doing it I think if they're doing it they just find a safer way of doing it. Because now unfortunately mm. you get people who like would abuse you the know. reason is, you know, actually that's the importance of laws. Mm-hmm. If now, for example, to laws to to tolerate, yeah. then everything will just glitch. Kita click to tender to, but that's why laws are created to protect a group of people. You know, yeah. even if it doesn't, because in Kenya, we call like, okay, there's a law, but. There's a law mm. for what? I mean, for anything, but I actualize it, like the no, gender let, rule. Let, no, let's talk about Kwanza, like here, prostitution first, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because like, even for people who don't know, just in case you don't know, like, Kenya is top 10 for sex tourism. I didn't know that. Now you know. Kenya is top 10. Even if you want to Google, if I'm wrong by there, just tell me. But hey. Kenya is top 10 in the world for sex tourism. Yeah. Do you know what that means? It means like, And yeah, like just out of all those all other different countries. Yeah. Like even the way we have like even tourists just coming to see like, uh, we're always saying like Kenya has like the top five. What are the top five? Nini? The big five. The big five. Yeah. Prostitution should be like number four there. And then I watch like those stories of CG. Yeah. Uh, Jamaica. What is this island? I'm like, whoa. Ja- uh, ja- Jamaica. Not Jamaica. It's an um, island where people go for the sex tourism. Not the, like, oh, oh, the one no. that old women are going there. There's the one for old women. There's the one for old men. I think men. it's Gambia. Right, Gambia. Gambia yes. Yeah, Gambia. And another mm-hmm. one. And I was like, I, hey, no, that's so sad. Kenya top 10, top 10. So it means like, you know, us yeah. for sure. And, you know, like like I also said, like um, when you go like even, let's say, down to the coast, now it's different there because... I think where it's it gets a bit sensitive it's when we have like old uh, or let's say mothers who send their kids to have sex with tourists yeah. to bring back home money. Now that's yeah. just not something I would support. But yeah. everything else that's going on like if it's in Nairobi like a girl is like just making that decision on her own. Like yeah, just do your yeah. thing but just stay safe. But unfortunately we don't yeah. have laws that protect and even yeah. the lawmakers they know Lawmakers, you know, you call for these services. So, yeah. I mean, just yeah. the least you can do is just try and protect the girls who are there because now they end up in like just funny, funny situations. Like, yeah. let's say how uh, my dear friend Scarlett ended up in a very bad, bad situation and she no longer exists because of. But then that, like the whole period of time when femicide, femicide cases were on the rise, which is just yeah. jana, juicy. Yeah. Uh-uh, guys, we need to do better as a society for true, sure. True. Like the comments, I, I just realized this people is a are desensi- society. People are desensitized. Yeah, they don't care. A society of of people who hate their women. No, Shame on you. No, we don't hate our women. Uh-uh. Okay, but for do you, sure. no, no, but think about, do you strongly believe that we, because when you say I that, do. no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you're coming from a passionate place, but you also have to understand it's, It's not all of us. But what I'm always saying, and even there's always that debate where we, you see, there's this debate about, what was it? Uh, people were saying that because she went to the Airbnb, she deserved yeah. it. But yeah. of course, nobody deserves to be killed. Yeah. And then there's also this conversation, people who always have this constant debate about uh, uh, how women dress. And then there's uh, the nini of my dress, my choice. But... We also have to, it's very important that men and mm-hmm. women are able to sit down and have a conversation about it. Because we're all coming from places where everyone is heated from maybe a bad experience. Right. Because you remember during the femicide, did you go, for, you went for the femicide, right? Yes. Do you remember or did you see the clip of the guy who was just somewhere, I think, in Jivanji Gardens? Yeah. And this guy was telling the women, we will continue killing you. Right. Yeah. But also you have to understand when somebody like that is saying that, don't think it's a joke. Right. He's saying it because he will do it. Just he look will. at his eyes 
and how he's expressing himself. So I think for even someone like that, at the end of it, you still have to have a conversation with him. Because, no, 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 just think about it. Because he has already said he's going to kill, right? Yeah. And he's going on with his business. Wouldn't you like just sit down and try and figure out why does this person think the way they think? A fungo to jella. Conversation? No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, but, but think about it, Cindy, because you're also like a law person. Yeah. He's not going to be jailed. True or false? Because there are no laws that allow for that. Yeah, but. To, yeah. And that's why I'm but saying. He's not gonna that's why be... I'm saying. Because this is somebody who can bump into your daughter, your yeah. sister. Even you. Even, just... Yeah, randomly. But you have to understand, like, so why not take time? That's why, like, let's say, I'm always saying, like, other countries will always be ahead of us because mm -hmm. they study. Yeah. They study. Okay, so you said that. What makes you think you can say that? Mm. Like, why are you expressing? Okay, what did a woman do to you so that mm -hmm. you... Just tap into his brain a bit. Just understand. Because, mm -hmm. like... How many cases are we hearing of these people who are not, let's say this doesn't happen in Nairobi, but very common outside Nairobi, people who are raping kids who are as young as, uh, you know, below five years old. Right. A dad sleeping with like the daughter. Yeah. And, you know, forget even like that, those really, really tiny minors. You still have to, I know they deserve punishment. Yeah. But try, because these are normal people. Yeah. These are normal people. This is your daughter and somebody's doing that to their daughter. Yeah. Understand where they're coming from. Is it a cultural thing? Yeah. Is it something that you deep down believe? Because yes. what they're doing could be something that they're telling their son to do as well. Yes. Like, you know, in our culture, we're supposed... Because I heard about something that in Kambani, like, there are these dads who believe, like, they're supposed to be the first ones to sleep with their daughter before their daughter goes to sleep with some... But, but no, listen... But I know it makes you angry, but especially if you've, you know, if you if you've studied, you've gone to Europe and you see all these different things. Understand uh culture also affects a I lot. See. If you go to Northeastern, there are some parents who always groom their daughters and deliver them to old yeah, men yeah. as brides. Yeah. Right or wrong? It's true. So are they right to do that because it's cultural or mm. according, to, because to the law it's illegal, yeah. but doesn't it still go on? It's still going let's on see, till now. Yeah. Uh, now we go to deep down somewhere in coast, southern coast, where these old Italian men are always coming yeah. to be given like underage kids to yeah. have sex with them. The government knows very well and it's been going on for years. Has it been stopped? It's still going on. And these guys come to get like small boys and small girls. And hold on, hold on. And then in return, you have to understand, when they're kids, once they turn into grown-ups, maybe like yeah. 16, 17, they are coming to interact with other people, right. probably like in Nairobi for campus, Nini and everything. Mm. But to them... Where they grew up, this was so normal. This, this was a normal thing. Because yeah. if your mom sent you like, okay. And because, you know, like those guys like choose, they want a boy or girl, which one do you want? And the moms just send them. There have been documentaries that have been done enough times. But we all know this happens in the country. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, we still need to be able to have conversations with people. Because you see now, that old woman who's sending yeah. their daughter, who's like maybe 12, 10 years old. Yeah. Ha, to heights, you know, enda mzungwa tupatie, pesa, and it's dollars. Unataka kuenda shule, enda. Kwa nini, enda na nini. Hey. Hey, but you can only imagine, ha, by the time that girl is like 16 or 17, you think it's she understands, broken. she doesn't understand what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a conversation with the mom. Yeah. These people who are like insane, like that person, the way he was just saying like, we'll, once I said like, me, you eat my pizza and you think you'll go away. I'm like, bruh, pizza. Are you talking about killing someone because of pizza? I, how much pizza do you want? But first of all, we give you and then have a conversation about this. Because there is no way you're expressing yourself like that. Yeah. And somebody who's saying that and they deep down think it's okay to say that. That's yeah. what's scary. Yeah. That yeah. should be concerning. So yeah, such a person, sure. you need to talk to him and actually educate him first. Because like we said, he might not hurt someone then, 
But for sure, when he appears in the news years later, because somebody ate their pizza yeah. and tried to go away. If the opportunity arises. Yeah. And we'll just all say like, by this, you know, we saw this guy and he actually said he'll do it. And yeah. he did it. Yeah. So who will we blame then? I see. So we still have I to educate we still yeah. have to educate boys yeah. and educate men on how to treat women because yeah. you can't hate them because they are not going anywhere. Yeah and and for you sure see. you can't like you can't hate pe- you can't hate human beings because you we are an extension of each other. Yeah. So if you, if I hate you almost n- uh, um evoking that I'm that still part hate, of you. Yeah, I'm still that part of hate you. to myself. And granted, some people are really shitty, and we acknowledge that. True. But um, we are just each other. We are just. We, we have to cause think about it. For us yeah. coexisting, cause you you have a dad, right? Yeah. You love your dad so much. You see, so imagine. At imagine. Time, and even at times, I'm always hearing like Kenyan men. I'm like, you can't say that, cause you know, you know, you have a you have a brother. But then let me tell so you. Are you calling all of us? It's very conflicting, very. especially for me, mm-hmm. because I really, really like my dad. Me and my dad like this. Best friend. You know, even my muscular inside like this, Yeah, you yeah. know. Mm. But then at the same time, I, I want to love these creatures we call men, call men. but yeah. I'm afraid <laughs> because they can yeah. do They're things extremes. to me like... You know, it's such a, a, a trippy balance to, to carry. Yeah. And even as I was coming here, because we have, this is the first time we are meeting actually. Ever, yeah. 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 So I was, I, I was just telling you I was to come with my um, younger brother. brother. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, Nan kenda ukom nione kwa news. You know, as a, as a girl, No, but as I a know woman, it has to kick in yeah. like that, Nini. Those yeah. are the things you need to, yeah. to, to think about. And that's why I was telling my assistant, you know how hard you're making it for me because she used to like, yo, she's mm. here and in a bad... Not saying that I'm, I'm not a bad person. Let's start with that. Yeah. But there's a comfort that you'll get, first of all, yeah. by knowing immediately my assistant is calling you. She's right. going to guide you here. She'll come yeah. pick you from down. By the time you're here, you're chill. Right. But so now if it's just me, yeah. first of all, so many things are going through your head. But yeah. it's like, okay. So my brother couldn't make it because he had a cut. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just texted him my location <laughs> and my, uh, yeah, by the way, my location. <laughs> let me read to you that text. Just in text. case, please, please. Uh, yeah. This is the text, young brother. I was like, how can you tell me last minute? Let's so, see. Mm-hmm. So, nimeenda huku kwa huyo mtu. In case I die, you know where I was. Tell the police. Are you fucking serious? What do you mean? <laughs> Yo, it's just a podcast episode. What? I no, was but, like, but still, I do. Tell the purpose. Wait, so, and, and you know, that's what I'm saying. You also yeah. have to understand. That's precaution you've taken, right? Mm. And... It should be, like, that's why we're saying, like, for you to do something like that, it's the same way, let's say, at times. And there's a time there. And, you know, just on Twitter, people don't know how to express themselves or communicate. Yeah. At times, everyone is too heated to have a conversation. Yeah. I was saying about, like, you know, and we're talking about, like, the dr- my dress, my choice. I was like, yeah. at this point, I can only try and protect, like, my daughter yeah, and maybe, like, sister and mother because it's gotten to a point where... Because I know how guys think, yeah. right? And I'm always saying, like, I know how my emotional intelligence is and how I can cope. And even if somebody does something bad to me, how I can control my anger. But I do know men out there who will not mm-hmm. think the same way, will not behave the same way. And they might actually hurt a woman just because of something simple, like saying the wrong thing next to him. Yeah. It just feels like, you know, those people, are obli- they feel like they're obligated to punish and teach you yeah. a lesson. Hey, mimi. Exactly. Right. So as men, we always know that already. We're like, we know what men are capable of. Yeah. Because like we said, that man who's saying in front of like a women's match, we will kill you. That's somebody that you cannot just like be joking with. Yeah. You, can, you have to take everything he's saying as a threat, yeah. first of all. But even according to the law, he can't be arrested. Yeah. So if my daughter tells me, I'm going to town today, a guy hangs out at Jivanji Gardens, chilling with a newspaper. 
he'd be like, hey, mommy, okay, I know you're going to town, but please take care. Yeah. And that's the only reason even for you, you'd be like, you know, yes, in your mind, you know, like, I'll be okay, I'm moving out there, but you're just in case. Yeah. <laughs> I said, if I die. She I says, was like... <laughs> Tell the purpose. And what did your brother say? What did he respond with? Imagine he just said sour. He said sour. <laughs> <laughs> he was like sour. Hey, by the way, big, big ups to your bro. Jesse. He like, was like, hey, it's sour, but it's sour. At least I'll know where you are. Sijali. Eh, I can't be sour. Ntawambia. That's the part you play. No, interesting. But I'm saying we still have to coexist because the same yeah, way I'm always telling people. We've had men who've been wronged by women. Yeah. And I've always said, there is no day on earth you'll hear me saying like, I don't need women. I need, right. I need women in my ah, life. Ah, for sure. Come on. Come on. There is no, there is nothing but like those ones who've done bad things to me and I'm always saying, I will never take that burden to the next person. I'll just yeah. say maybe I experienced something bad yeah. so I wouldn't like to go through this again. So can we at least avoid this? But I'll never say that, you know, I hate women by, what's that thing? Like all Kenyan women by the way, they are hoes. Come on. <laughs> you're saying that yeah. and then, no, 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 you say that, you're forgetting you have a sister, you have your mother. <laughs> So you're insulting like even like your own people. You know, you reminded me of Kibe's podcast. Oh, <laughs> that Chile. <laughs> that Chile, Maze. You guys the keep holes. on telling us. They're all hoes. But you can't say that because you do have genuinely. <laughs> you have. We have. And, and you even have friends who are in that profession and they're your homies. Yeah. They're your homies. So yeah. you can't just say that like a degrading in it because we have to coexist. But I think it, it, maybe yeah. in mm-hmm. a, like you an think? alternate universe, mm-hmm. because I think uh, in, in Kenya we are such a, a conservative so, and a religious society, because everything just starts from there. Bible, imesema, no gays, yeah. no prostitution, no. You yeah. say that, but like, even now, a, a lot of gay guys come from. Those, those church choirs and stuff. You can be gay and be anything. I think that's what people need to know. No, yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, you know, you'll do the extremes and do the most. And then now you're the church person who yeah. actually likes uh, boys' choirs. And you can't say. You're married, first of all. Uh, you're cheating on your wife. And two, you now, like, of course, you also... The people you're rebuking, yeah. that's where your fantasy is. Yeah. So, you know, you just... Because, like, even the, the gay thing doesn't bother me anymore, by the way. It's just, like, anybody should do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. And as long as everyone is happy, it's gotten to a point because there's so much more going on. Are you going to fight about the economy, the dollar, inflation, uh, KPLC? Housing tax. Uh, housing tax. Aye. Uh, flights in, be getting increased in prices. Like all those things. So now, yeah. I, I don't care who you're in bed with. Yo. You do your thing, Mazi. That's the list of our worries that's at this li- point. Where at we this are. point, there's so much more going on. Yeah. And I'm just those ones of like, yo, as long as, we, and even just now in general, every day in the news, how many people are killing each other? Mm. So even just mental well-being, I think mm. people should more, should just tap into like therapy, understand their mind, yeah. how it works, yeah. controlling their anger. People are killing each other every single day. Yeah. Okay, now you're like, okay, even if I start now, today um, I'm on the femicide side, tomorrow Siju, uh, a girl has put some something on someone's drink, he's over yeah. there. Okay, so today I'm protecting men. Man, I, uh, today what? there's a kid who like now uh, house helps every time. Yeah. Like they've just been torturing someone's kid up with such a demon. So no, no, I, I just have to be like those ones of like, I just stand for humanity. I want yeah. just people treating each other well. You yeah. wouldn't feel good if that's done to your sister, yeah. your child, your brother. So just coexisting in peace. Yeah. Of course, that would be an ideal fantasy world. But I mean, that's what I would just. But even stand just for. for everyone, even listening, or just if if you don't want something to be done to you, don't do it to another person. Let's be. Mm. decent human beings yeah. for sure it's it's kind of yeah. hard but you know we, we still have to co like i said we yeah. still like he keeps saying we have to coexist yeah but now also 
because I know we are almost winding up. I keep looking at the memory card, but you know we've already clocked no. one hour, right? You know that, right? No. We have already we've clocked one hour. Already. Delay too. We can end the but we have like uh okay, let's say we can do like 15 more minutes okay. and just tap into a few things. Now, also because we have to talk about like uh also things that um like even taking shape like now in Nairobi, a lot of girls are getting into only fans. Yeah. And they said I've had guests who are like uh in only fans. Uh, they are currently doing it. And one said she's thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, and her kwanza she's just like my neighbor. She said like, "Oh, that episode was so interesting by the way." I was like, "What was so interesting about it?" It's like how she talked, nini nini. She like, "Are you thinking of joining or are you just saying it?" And then she said like, well. "I have just been thinking about it." So, she actually gave me so much more insight. Mm-hmm. on how I can do so many other things safely like cuz I say like now safety is just like the main yeah. thing but how are you dealing with just social media as a person and you know like has only fans crossed your mind and just your thoughts in general about it you know or even you'll start saying they are hoes <laughs> <laughs> I I confess that I have thought about it too mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I even started an account, but I couldn't. It opened. Yeah, but I couldn't figure my way around it for some reason. Really? Just like TikTok, I I was looking at people. You turn a post video, Ajay. I turn on a download CapCut. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm old. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I even opened the account. I was like, okay, yeah. uh, only fans you can do other things. Yeah. But, but, um, but it's true you can do so many it yeah. just depends on what you'd want what kind of content would you post for people yeah after you opened what was the plan i was i wanted to do like a sit down mm-hmm. and like um uh, have people send their issues and then i'll advise them because mm-hmm. loki i feel like a therapist <laughs> okay 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 yeah. uh-huh. I, i'm i'm going to do it maybe <clears throat> Never but know. i mm-hmm. I don't shit on any sex work actually. Mm-hmm. Like power to you. I wish I had the confidence. Can you do it in my mama between okay, me like and that? It's confidence. That that is in any job, ni confidence. Yeah. If if I just don't care about what people think I'm there. Mm, mm. But power to you man. Yeah. Um if it brings you money, if it some people do it because it actually makes them happy. Yeah, true. But sometimes um you might be doing it and you are not I, and i think you need therapy instead mm. like you need a kind of validation true yeah so just i i feel just ask yourself why if you really really enjoy and like it and you don't give a damn mm. part you you do it yeah i think i still yeah. come down to just be safe yeah just be safe that's, but that's i thought it. it's safe because you it's just online and you don't yeah, meet people but at times people propose like you do you know because now your audience will always keep challenging you because they can you have subscribers but you have people who can now like tip for extra activities that okay, you do okay so they tell yeah. you funny if we do yeah. this yeah today so we want you to maybe today we want like something like a cucumber show I uh, tomorrow see so you invite like so and so would you want to do like a collab okay. with them but they actually yeah. the the or other ad- reason or, or advise us we want your advice but can you do your advice topless eh hey, oh yeah <laughs> cuz you know now Why? guys guys are like okay sir now cuz now think about it cuz they're like <laughs> i have a therapist so why should i come to you <laughs> but i can promise you you can listen to my problems if maybe you're putting on lingerie You know people people get into okay but even for yeah. me you know I'm I'm just being extra creative because I'm yeah. an artist so now for you I'd look at your people profile do, yeah I'd be like okay I like everything but like let's say for today's session right because now we're maybe chatting and in a group and in we're like okay so now let's make this interesting today you know this this picture we've seen like on your Instagram you know the one that you have like a helmet and nini so we want <laughs> that picture We want you in lingerie and <laughs> gloves and hey. gloves like baby motorcycle gloves lingerie but still give us advice and then now we just tell talk that to you about That sounds the like something a man would ask yeah. but you see I I frown on any content that mm. panders to men 
That's why. Uh, like, I will never... Why like, are you making that face first of yeah, all? Fix your face. I'm like, like, ew, I'm like, mm. me be naked na, for na, you? No, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> no. Now, if I know that, now come with my girlfriend <laughs> as well. It's like, hey, you thought you are going to win with this. Like I say, she's here. She's but then here. if a girl just she's asks here. that, I'm like, say less. You see, you see. <laughs> <laughs> but... But that's what I'm saying now, because now, like, your audience will keep on requesting. You know, the way you'd say, yeah. like, even maybe talk to them, yes, and then they say, like, okay. You ask them, like, okay, is there anything else maybe that you guys would be interested yeah. for me to talk about? Yeah. And then so it's like, teacher, I have a suggestion. Hey, oh, yeah. And I'll say, like, my girlfriend was asking, not me, because I already know now you're yeah. like, hey, and anything that pandas me. My girlfriend was asking if it's okay with you. Be like, yeah, ah, it's for her. Thanks, I have me. I'm just like, I'm just pinching her <laughs> like this. Like, yo, I told you to look. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Eh? People are sick no, out here. No, for but, sure. but of course, like, you know, it's just a whole different world that people are yeah. adapting to. Yeah. And we can't just ignore it. But I think just kind of understand. That's why I say, like, I bring even those girls yeah. to just express and tell people how to go about it. If yeah. you're setting up an account so that it's actually financially beneficial to you. You're not yeah. just wasting your time. You know how you can monetize it the right way. But for me, I'm always trying to tell them like, okay, if you need investment advice, just come to me because you can make money. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. I mean, no. you do your thing. When you need to invest, I'll give you like the best guidance on how you can get into modern digital assets because, you know, our parents used to do land, maybe real estate. Me, I'll show you how like, okay, move to government bonds, buy mutual funds buy dollars and hold them, I mean, you know, get into crypto, all those things, I can just help you, like, structure. I'm almost like a relationship manager, but not certified, but I can guide you. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Now you know. We are, are, are going to do that. Now I you need, know. Now I need, you, now I you need know. to make that digital now, money. Now you know. Now yeah. you know. Uh, so now another <laughs> thing, like, before, like, we just wind up. Mm -hmm. Um. What do you think in general, like right now, are you something, what, what are your thoughts on just even like things like marriage right now? Because we see like, a, like a, almost a pandemic mm -hmm. of a lot of single moms or families that are just not together. Mom and dad not together, as opposed as to traditionally where even where people are not getting along, they yeah. are kind of still trying it for, on behalf of the kids. You know those even you see a mom and a dad in a family gathering, they've come like in the car, you see the way they're looking at each other. Yeah. Just like, but they still kind of always tried to be together for like, you know, for better or for worse. Yeah. Whereas nowadays, like you said, to date somebody can be on a seasonal place and you know, like, you know, like example how you can say like, this time I was just zoned out yeah. with this person because we clicked in this way. Yeah. And then after a couple of maybe a year or two or a few months, you just separate ways. And it's like, you know what? I don't like white guys anymore. Yeah. Yeah, like, hey, these Nigerian boys, though. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I know I don't have <laughs> nyash, but please DM me. <laughs> DM, DM, slide in the DM. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, what do you think? But they have almost been married. <laughs> almost married? Almost like at the cusp, a uh, sniff away from marriage. Proposal was done. Um, am no, I, am I, I'm you could not, see it. You could see it coming. Yeah, I'm anyway. not. The, I'm not a team, like I don't like doing things typically. Uh -huh. Like why? Just tell me. Let's do this or let's elope. Uh -huh. Um, kind of thing. Uh -huh. But almost so, married. Explain it. Explain almost, it. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, this person <laughs> asked and I was like, sure. <laughs> and so we planned then midway. I was like, hold on. Wait. <laughs> what? No. Why? Yeah, run away, bride. You suck. Yeah. Ah, shit. And then, like I always <laughs> do, by the way, uh -huh. block. Oh, no, I don't even block. I just let you text yourself there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Maybe I'll block you on my social media so you can't see Almost me like looking ghosting. pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Painful. But I, uh, I, or sometimes I'll just, I, because I know you, I know what um, really bothers you, I'll do that. Like if it's silence, I'll just go silent. Mm. But I don't like going back and forth. That said, yeah. I'm... Marriage as an institution is not 
imepita na wakati for sure i mm. feel mm-hmm. um and that's because it's not providing what it it used to back then najua it was uh, for status for community sure. uh, because uh, someone will provide for you but now we see that um with the rise of feminism the onset has brought the empowerment of women so women are working they can take care of themselves true and now the power because money is power there's a power shift mm. there's a power shift because money now is yeah. uh, is 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 now in, in both genders access mm. so now i think your men are so upset No, uh, no, 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 really because yeah. it's very rare to find a relationship that works where the lady makes more and that can't work you see can't work so 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 now as women it's, it's kind of but in ge- okay so i just explain and then yeah. i can give you my my opinion on what i think i think now as women we are also realizing that eh, by the this thing is not is not benefiting us True. The way they were lying true, to us. True. So I can live in my car house and pay my own bills. Mm. Why do I need this man Ashinda can is stress? It mm. now okay, I I have to like uh, make money then I have to take care of the house. Mm. You know, so I think Sasa it's just broken. You don't have to force it anymore. Just be with yourself or be with someone or cohabit. The law protects you for that actually. True. Um and what else for me I don't really care about marriage to be honest you want kids for sure N- no I'm not kids. having I'm not having a kid for 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 any man with any I man relax <laughs> for, for any man <laughs> with any man <laughs> on any man in <laughs> under any man <laughs> no, no you wouldn't want to see you don't see yourself like Because even when you said I'm tapping into my femininity, that includes Nini. Uh, that's where we draw the line. Wait, what, what about when you get old? What about it? You won't have like kids coming to visit you. Who will be visiting you? So, Kwani, who is visiting me now? I no no no. So that's <laughs> yeah. why you make your own sasa. So those ones they are dedicated to come visit you. Nini. I don't care. But there's also a a hair rot ancestors eh? you're calling. <laughs> Eh, there's also <laughs> there is all, all, mm-hmm. there's also a, 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 a I, game. I watch, I watch, there's I also a lot of trauma response based on my answer. Also oh, okay, too, okay. A you know? bit which yeah. is also common in a lot of people I think kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's why sure. it's just not working because I think yeah. any time and it's unfortunate because i was also telling like another friend of mine and we were talking behind just the scenes i was saying like it's so unfortunate because even like the ones who have kids mm-hmm. how when i ask that question they say i'm just trying to work really hard until i get my own money mm-hmm. and then when i feel like i'm ready to have a kid and then i'm like oh it's so sad because even when they're planning for the kid yeah the man is not in the picture it's like okay sawa yeah. just in case he's not there me i'm still okay but okay so if i have to have a kid i would have but i'm not counting on him to be so that forces like most of our women now yeah. in hand to to almost play and take that role of a man which yeah. is unfortunate because i think the ideal situation i think yeah it's like for me playing my role as a guy yeah. making sure i protect and provide for her so much that She doesn't have to work so hard. And she feels safe. A- and she feels safe and even to nurture yeah. and just yeah. it's like yo she knows she's good. Yeah. You know, but I think now it's those ones of like hey what if I can nurture and me have just thrown my life away and everything. By the way there's um <laughs> I listen to such maybe I'll share with um the kind of content I listen to mm. but there was this um A lady I follow on Facebook here yes, someone on Facebook. Mhm. Mhm. And it's all Leandra something I'll, I'll I'll tag her somewhere. Yeah. So she was saying if as a woman you're thinking of having a kid don't have it in relation to a man have that kid because you want to have that. Yani just prepare your mind and yourself. Yeah. Assume that man is not there would you want that kid? If the mm. answer is yes have that fine, kid. Fine. Yeah but Otherwise the burden will be on you. 
True. We'll touch on a mtoto that man will be gallivanting. Mm-hmm. Ako uko na Casavera. <laughs> Ala Casavera tomorrow I'm in Diani. <laughs> yeah, na na Dubai. actually once once we saw two Nikona ball. It's like and I think that's the strangest thing cuz now when I talk to the single mom who said she got pregnant when she was 20. We're talking about so many things but I ask her a very important question because I told her because we're talking about like when she was conceiving, right? Yeah. And I asked her because she said she did it in Mama Lucy in, in Kitengela. She yeah. said the first of all like, you know, the house was packed. A lot of women who have come to and they're just trying to give birth as well. Yeah. But I was asking her like uh were there men who are around just showing love to their wives, or my <laughs> girlfriends? <laughs> or even just coming to nini she, she said there wasn't even one single eh hiyo ni mambo ya mama she said not even one can you imagine that's that's unfortunate cuz she said like even there was a 16 year old who not even family was there yeah like even the guy who got her pregnant but i think in 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 those hospitals wanaambiongo waenda because there are too many women you know no yeah. i don't think you get a car no 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 you don't get a car room but yeah. No cuz even her said they were sharing a bed three women. But we're talking about like even just bringing food. You know cuz like oh, let's say right. food for a day or two because yeah. uh the kid is in what is it called nursery yeah. and you for just a day or two to make sure that you're good cuz especially if it's a CS yeah. and all those other things. Tests making sure he she said like literally she could not see not even one. And it, yeah. even if we were saying it's mambo ya mama I would want to be there. Yeah, I would I want hope to be there. You I, would. I would want to be there. I yeah. don't see how I don't even understand how that works. Hey, controversial um yeah. point of view, but mm-hmm. abortion is abortion rights are human rights for sure. Is also. it legal in Kenya? No, it's not. Okay. But it should be. So we can't encourage people to do illegal activities. We right? can't for sure. Because but if I was if you choose me to represent mm. the nation Start these are the now. things <laughs> yeah. I'll push uh-huh. choose me for women <laughs> so why would you push for a bush I'm just asking nothing against it for me I just want to know there's a there's power in controlling your reproductive health mm-hmm. and be, and it's because it has been used as a weapon Okay. Like s- reproductive reproduction is labor by itself. Nikazi. Yeah, 9 Nikazi. months it's not at any and that's just the For beginning sure. of it. Yeah, and I think if you if there's that option, mm. you know, hey, hey, you haven't dated <laughs> men, but they chocha you, girl, Cindy, I will be there. Yeah, let's have a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then mm-hmm. w- like down the line, I'm at the just once you miss umetokea na kale ka kit yeah he's like uko sure uko sure ni yangu you know nani amefanya hivi yeah like just being able to have that option to plan yourself yeah. i think is revolutionary na even i was uh, seeing in states wameanza ku dec- to criminalize it as mm. well oh and, really yeah in some states and i feel like it's such a huge setback to the feminism movement But to maybe, maybe steps but more. maybe it's cause there are some people now who will misuse it you see because if you hear someone has done like five abortions granted like yeah. granted you on sawa but i know it, it's it body b- b- your body your choice but yeah. so now you even that's self harming pa it can actually like i'm guessing like it's five like, times it's like mbona basi they sell alcohol see there are people who abuse it do they stop see it's that's still true. there that's true then that's true it's paid, just, pa- paid partnership by, by <laughs> <EBN. yeah. laughs> but it's because of um, religion and patriarchy to yeah. so they're All using right. that to push an agenda but in um, yeah. but, I'm, but I'm just saying like you see sad, and I think such conversations I think it's just always good to just hear both points like and like yeah. I said for me like I learn so much from every guest who comes because they have a personal experience with something they've educated and exposed to something different but yeah. i'm always those ones of like that's why i'm always like okay why do you think because i just want to learn yeah and i understand because there are some people who like of course they have like extremes but still like i said you still have to listen to those people because they still live with us 
Right. He's still living with us. It's mind opening. Yes. <laughs> but I'm like, how at at night you just sleep? This is how yeah. this is how your brain functions. It's but true. now you're like, but so now the next time you meet somebody who's thinking like that, you're not shocked. It's like, yeah. wow, Ati. Yeah. And you even know people to stay away from, by the way. No, true. Yeah. True. Because the aka, you domo domo, you just know everyone inside out to call. Yeah. Because oh. even at times you also kind of like no, there are those friends who are like you friends, but they can't be around you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, come on, I know yeah. you. Yeah. You just uh, either my mindset, all those things. Like, am I you drain me? Oh, there's so many other things. But you know, you're good as a friend. But that's yeah. what I can just keep you as a friend from a distance. Right. You know. Yeah. And now I'm, I'm seeing the clock. Aki, we are almost running out. Almost oh, running. But I no, no, no. enjoyed so much. Thank you. But did you think you it was going me. to be? No. Mm-hmm. No. I didn't know I was. We've done one hour 30 was... minutes. You know that, eh? Wow. Let's yes. do it too. Yeah. Four. Part, anyway. part, part two. We'll... Yeah. Uh-huh. When I was coming, the, uh, the, that inside voice was like, so, unenda, unenda, nini utasema? <laughs> You know, with that English flow, <laughs> I really thought about going back. I was like... Wait, what? Yeah. After you got here? Yeah, you know, I'm like, am I even... Wa-? No, how just have, before. How would you have explained yourself? Like, I don't even know. I was just like, and you know what? And ghosted me. Maybe. <laughs> what a shame. But I really enjoyed it. Thank yeah. you for having me. Mm-hmm. I always have... Kwa yeah. I'm there first in line. Mm-hmm. So I hope um, I put some gems there for anyone when you have. Yeah. yeah. Helped in any way in mm-hmm. my perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And let's do it again. Let's do it time. again. And, and I hope you also pick inspiration from just doing this. Yeah. And you can even like, if, even on TikTok, I think you can do like your own sale because you have right. a lot of stories to tell. Yeah. You can share with people, you can educate, you, people can come ask you things because it's like yeah. so unfortunate, like I said, there's so many experiences that you would have, you've gone through yeah. that other girls, you wouldn't want or maybe they might make a mistake, but just through your guidance, you know what I'm talking Tell about? Tell me, comment down, be- <laughs> yeah, yeah, comment down below. Her, comment down her. below if you want me to do it. Yeah, so if you have any questions, <laughs> just have ask her. Joy. No, 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 but there. that's the thing. <clears throat> Even for people who've seen you on Instagram, I think when they see this post, it will be so the intriguing dish. for them. Yeah. Because they've never seen you talk, have like this in-depth conversation. Yeah. A lot of them also don't know like just what you're pursuing, what you're passionate about. Yeah. You know how you feel about like so many different things. So it's like also like an insight for most of them. I'm sure even mm. some of your friends, they know your friends, they are friends, but maybe even like, let's say, you haven't seen each other in five, six years. Yeah. Because you've been out of the country for four years. Yeah. Because I don't I'm, have friends. Please, guys, I, no, I need a lot friends. Has now I'm back. A lot has changed. A friend and a wig. Okay, so friend, a wig. Friends. Uh, do you want a BFF? I'm a lot of friends. I want. All kind of friends. Boys but, or girls? Uh-uh. We've learned I'm Kai Kando, please. No, please, no. There's always that females. one male bestie who's just up with you, just chilling, to just like... Mm. <laughs> waiting. Just waiting, oh. just waking. For, the shoulder. For just, just for that weakness, you know, so we don't want those, we don't want those. Yeah. But, you know, thanks for coming through. I really appreciate it. This was such a nice podcast. Like you see, I yeah. didn't even put any questions down, but we've just flown like one hour, 30 minutes, mm-hmm. nonstop back-to-back questions. Right. And I do hope we get to do a part two. Yeah. Wish you all the best, like in your master, um, what is it called? Uh, Kenya School of Law. Yes. And of course, Love Life. Yes. Yeah. See, we feel... <laughs> I, yeah, need, no, no. I need that one. Yeah, yeah. I need Love those. Life. And that wig endorsement, we've talked about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> what else? That I'm healthy, uh, that, that my hair healthy. grows, that my butt becomes bigger. Nyash, and my let's money make sure the nyash nice. nini, finances and everything. But you know, we just wish you in general everything but the best. Thank you so much mm-hmm. to you too and to anyone watching. Thank you. Thank you. So, till next time, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> The Kiscapades podcast is your gateway to holistic growth and personal transformation. Together we'll unlock the secrets to living a life of health, wealth, 
love and happiness. So make sure to tune in every week and join us as we explore the essence of what it means to truly thrive. And lastly, show us some love and support in our social media platforms from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, basically all the social media platforms that, you know, support podcasting will definitely be there. Even with the short clips and reels, you can find us there. And lastly, don't be shy with feedback, suggestions, or any questions that you might have in regards to the episodes or our podcast. It's the Kiss Capades podcast. Goodbye.